Sandra and welcome back to my art channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something different and even using a different pillow paint. I'm using um, Color to Go uh, Valiant Violet as you can see. So, And not a deconstructed bloom. I'm just going for one big bloom. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I have uh, somebody with me today, a special guest. Um, Roxanne, a good friend of mine, and also on uh, Facebook group uh, Paint Pouring with Venom Fluid Art, and she's here to watch me make a fool of myself. <laughs> so I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to have her say hi to everybody. Go ahead. Hi, everybody. <laughs> she is an amazing artist too, and she's sitting there on her floor doing a painting. I think she's on her fourth one. While I'm still on my first, so yep, she's Got really it, good. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yep. On her knees doing her paint painting, I'm like, I, you know, got to, if my back didn't hurt so bad, I'd bow down to her. I tell you, good for her. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> we will get started on this. Um, today I'm using, of course, Rolio pigments um, and a couple of two paints. So everything I have will be in the description box below my recipe the ingredients all that good stuff and no varnish whatsoever in my pouring medium not one drop so um it's been working out pretty good for me we'll see how it goes today um so we're going to start off and i'll tell you the colors as i go um of course we always start off with my custom made nicolizo gold which is a blend of copper and tiger orange by rolio pigments so, consistency, if you guys can see this, like warm honey drizzling off the, off the spoon. So, so we're going to just put a big dollop of this on here. I don't know how this is going to look on the purple background. I actually had some purple pigment, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to use that. We've got enough purple going on here. Okay, so here's a new color. I thought I would give it a little try. I think this is a, uh, hmm... You, it's an acquired taste. You either like it or you don't, but it was approved by my friend here, so we're going to try a little drizzle. It's called Olive Green Gold. I actually think it's really pretty. Um, yep, it's got, um, I don't know, it's just got this beautiful gold shimmer to it, so I think just a little drizzle, and we'll see how that works out. Yeah, my drizzles are like bloop, bloop. <laughs> I do a lot of blooping too. Yep. Don't feel so bad. <laughs> okay, our next color, um, this is custom made also. This is um, the Azure Blue, but also it has some uh, Pebeo iridescent blue green or green blue. One of them. We're going to use that. And put that right in the middle. And all the way around. So, let's see how that goes. All right. And then, of course, my custom made, my favorite green, pre night, uh, which is my Persian green. And I did use another pigment in here, I think a little bit of rainbow green, to just to darken it up. I know the, the sea glass and the pre night are a little bit lighter, so this is, I think this is really cool looking. Again, approved by my good friend here. <laughs> my whole color palette was approved by her. Okay, my last color is Amsterdam. It's a two paint called Turquoise Blue, which I just love this color. It's gorgeous. And that's going to go right in the middle. And I think I'm going to top it off with a little bit more of that nickel because that really is popping against the, um, the purple. And then I'm going to add a little tiny bit of this, this red that I have here. I made this up before. Do you even think I can remember what it is? It's some kind of magenta. It's some kind of magenta. I'll I gotta write this stuff down on my um in my book when I'm doing this. I think this is also a two paint. Yeah, it's liquid text, I think. Yeah, so alright. There we go. Alright, so cell activators today. Um lamp black by Amsterdam uh, along with Australian Floetrol at a 3 to 1 ratio and I'm also using my light pink light rose 
by Amsterdam and also a three to one ratio. All right, so we're just gonna put a little bit of this in the middle and a little bit of the pink in the middle. All right, and now, as I say, we're going to blow this bad boy out. You ready there, girl? Yeah, she's just busy over there painting. Painting, painting a little hard out. Huh. paint everywhere. That's really cool. Now I gotta hold it up for everybody to see. What do you guys think? Please tell me you like it. Please tell me you like it. Is that not cool? I love it. Love it. Yep. I don't mind the bikini corners this time. I don't mind them at all. Anyway, guys, this is it. Ta-da! I am so happy. And this is no varnish in the mix. How about that? So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> guys. I hope you like this. Um, if you do, please, please hit the like button. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Because how would you want to miss all this awesome fun and, and just great times, right? <laughs> right, Roxanne? Tell them. <laughs> Absolutely, girl. There you go. So Hit that bell. Ding. Hit the bell. Notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you get notified when this crazy lady's back on, and she may even yeah. and she may even have Roxanne back on, on with her, whether she whether she wants to or not. No. <laughs> so, and yeah, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like it. Give me some uh, color pat, uh, palette patterns to to come up with to do. Um, even pillow paints. I would love to try it out. I'm I'm all about that. So, I really appreciate all of you. I just more than you know and another person too uh, I want to give a shout out to Simona's Food Art please again I'll have it in the description box to link to her channel it would help her out so much she's such a sweet sweet person and you know her, her whole reason for doing this is to help people to share her what she loves just like me you know um, so guys thank you thank you Roxanne for joining in this crazy You're fun <laughs> and guys um Yes, at the end of this video, I will have the dry results of my last painting. Um, and uh, I have the dry results of a painting I think I mentioned in my last video that I did. So, anyway, guys, had a lot of fun. Thank you for joining. Uh, love you guys. And um, until next time, peace out. And we will see you when we see you. Hey, guys, it's Andrea. Um, here is the uh, dread results I promised from the last video, uh, this last video I just did. Um, rather than trying to pick it up, um, it's kind of a heavy canvas, I'm just going to kind of zoom in. Um, <laughs> you see, notice here in the middle of the frog, I just had to put an eyeball on him and his little webbed feet. 
I just, I had to. I just, it blew me away. He just looks absolutely like a frog. So, but here is the results of that um, up close. I love the, the custom cunet I made really stands out. Um, and of course I embellished it with my little dots there just to kind of, it, it dried super, super dark. So I just wanted to uh, just kind of break that up a little bit. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the way it came out. And then uh, there's another painting that I did I had to show you guys that I think I mentioned in my video that um, I was messing around with my friend Roxanne and we did some paintings and I'm like, I wish I had videotaped this, but I have got to show you guys this piece. Um, I don't know which way it would look better. I think like that would look really nice. So look at this, guys. Look at this painting. I'm going to zoom in here again, too. Look at that. Look at just the colors and, and guys, not an ounce of varnish in this piece. I uh, My pouring medium is two different untinted house paints, uh, deep base, and this is the result. And it dries exactly the way it is wet. Um, um, that's like going to be my new go-to pouring medium. Everything's in the description box. So, yeah, that's uh, my painting. Both of them. So, I, that one dried really, really nice. They both did actually. Um, that frog, that frog just cracks me right up. Look at the eye. I painted an eye on him. I had to. Look at his little feet. Um, I still have to add like a few dots right there just to kind of break it up so it just looks like the frog and not like he's got some kind of growth on him or something. <laughs> So, um, and I also wanted to show you guys, check this guy out. Look what I did. This was a pour I did. It, it came out pretty nice, but I'm like, I needed something. So I embellished, and I was like, I had these two big bare spots, and I said, I haven't taken my little paintbrush out, and I started doing that, and I'm like, ah, the markers, we'll get the markers out. So, yep, this is one I did. Um... Not too long ago, I am absolutely loving this. My first butterfly I ever did, so I'll be seeing a lot more of those. So, and then my husband had um, painted this. He's like, can you fix this? Can you do something? I'm like, I don't know, I'll just... So he painted this piece. And um, here's the, the embellishment work on it, which I think just really blinged it up and of course I'm thinking flowers and butterflies on it maybe a little bit uh, spring coming up why not so yeah I think that's really pretty so all kinds of good stuff to show you guys so yep there there they are so um, anyway guys thank you for um, hanging out and I look forward to the next video and uh, please uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel um, if you like it, uh, it just, I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for that, and it, and it helps me out a lot. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, I hope you have a great weekend, and, uh, until I see you again, peace out, and we will definitely see you when we see you.